Reddit, what's the most chaotic good thing you've ever seen? Mystery of stuff. Trust fun kid and his clique that would show up to your random college party with a literal trunk load of booze and drugs. It was his mission to turn parties into shit shows, likely for his own entertainment. He was just a really nice and fun person too. If it weren't for the fact he'd shrug off throwing down $1,000 on booze you'd never guess he was anything but just a nice hardworking college-age kid. My two cousins, four and six respectively, were picking on my sister, due to the very deserved fact that she didn't have a certain Barbie doll, forgot which kind, that they did. Cousin walks over, about nine years old, takes the doll, snaps it in fucking half, walks away, sister sitting there smiling away. My two cousins later apologize to my sister, but my older cousin still laughs about that, even three years later. Was out running in a park and saw some kid's dog running away from him straight towards me. It didn't look like they were playing, but that the kid was actually struggling to get his dog back. I roared and charged straight at the dog, who immediately ran back to its owner. Back in the day I went to Blockbuster to get a copy of the DVD extended edition of Lord of the Rings. It was a big deal at the time, and I was worried it would be sold out. Stoner clerk told me that they were sold out, but that the only one we have is the copy my boss told me to put aside for him. But he's always telling me to put customers first so here you go. Thank you stoner clerk. I was driving to work once and ran into dead stop traffic in a spot that I normally wouldn't. A dude had his SUV stopped sideways across most of both lanes, one lane each way, to block traffic while he was picking up a turtle and bringing it across the road. Fucked up everyone's commute for a few minutes just to save a turtle. Lots of people were honking and yelling, but he didn't even flinch or say anything. Got back in his car and drove off, never to be seen again. When I was in high school, there was one kid who was about a foot taller than everyone in the class and built like a rhino. He would beat up kids every day for no reason, and would get away with it because no one would do anything about it. One day we had a casual teacher spot him from across the school beating on some younger kids. This teacher ran at him and hit him like a train. Flipped this kid like an egg. The bully left the school a few weeks later and the teacher lost his job. But he will always be remembered as the one who saved the school. I've been out of school now for a few years and it still comes up in conversation. My dad's mom was super abusive. Tried to start a cult, beat and neglected her kids, just an all-around awful person. Once she was on her deathbed, she was unable to talk or really communicate effectively, and she hated Catholics. So, my dad had it arranged that every day, a Catholic priest would come in and pray over her. It wasn't really proportional to the amount of suffering she caused in her life, but it was pretty damn funny. My little sister was with an abusive guy. She had an infant daughter with him. He beat the living shit out of her one day. Little sis and baby came home to stay with us that day after the guy was dangling the baby, my niece that I loved dearly, off the balcony threatening to drop her. My mother tackled him and ran with the baby and my sister. Guy shows up at our house that night. My pops comes running full speed and beat the shit out of him. So satisfying because I was outside paranoid the guy would show up, but dad was already ready. Go dad. My mom. She's a gorilla gardener. She's in her early 60s and she goes out at night with a gang of her pensioner mates and plants flowers, sows seeds and tidies neglected public land, like roundabouts and grass verges. I'm pretty sure she knows who's been yarn bombing around here too, but she refuses to grass them up. Was at a market in Mozambique with a guide. Guide asks stall seller if he has any really fresh pangolin, illegal as hell and endangered. Seller shows him a box with two live ones. Guide turns to me and yells run, punches the seller, grabs the box, and books it across the market toward where we had parked. He released the critters later that day. It was an interesting trip. Was working at a coffee shop. This lady was on her phone, and it was time to order. Generally I handle this by going lawful evil and asking, 
as loudly as possible as many applicable questions that require more than a yes slash no answer as i can think of on this particular day the tall man behind her just starts screaming hang the phone up and order then berates her publicly for being rude it was everything i had ever wanted to say he scared the crap out of the rude lady too not something i saw but something my brother saw he was on a bus in london and this elderly woman got on there were no free seats but this was largely because two teenagers were spreading themselves out across two seats each this big hulking south african guy tells them to move up and make room for her they swear at him and give all that cocky attitude teenagers are famous for he gets up yanks one of them to his feet shoves him back so that he's sitting in one seat and in the thickest afrikaans accent you could possibly imagine tells him plainly you must be very careful who you're rude to hey they fucking back down after that i had a cousin with downs he lived with his parents this was back in the 60s or 70s and they were the first ones in their neighborhood to get an electric dryer my cousin asked a lot of questions about this and why they needed one etc his mom exasperated told him it was illegal to hang clothes to dry to get him to stop it worked kinda a couple of hours later a neighbor came over and told her that her son had run through the neighborhood and cut everybody's clothes lines leaving their clean clothes on the ground he had served up some justice when i was still in my medical training in westwood i often saw a middle-aged gentleman putting coins into expired meters the one time i saw a meter maid try to approach him and he ran off giggling a few months later i saw him at a stop sign in a maserati basically the definition of chaotic good edit fixed many small grammar issues thanks grammar inclined internet strangers i went to texas for a wedding as i left driving toward arkansas i was speeding a guy in a car started flagging me down and i took a chance and pulled over making sure to pull in front of his car to make sure i could speed away if anything was up guy runs up to the window and says hey i noticed you were from out of state and i wanted to warn you the cops like to hide in the bushes just up the road sure enough someone else was speeding and a cop popped out of nowhere further down the line mystery of stuff